So now that we've got our basic standing throw in place, it's time to look at the grip. And there's two main grips that we're going to see. The first one is the, probably the better known V grip, where we take our two fingers, we slide them down the javelin until we meet the binding, and this gives us a really nice strong grip on the binding. The issue with the uh, V grip is that it doesn't really allow us any freedom in the shoulder when we're throwing. And that means lots of our athletes will find that they end up pulling under the javelin and the tip goes up in the air and it's difficult for us to get that tip down landing. Whereas the traditional grip where we take our thumb and forefinger and slide those down the javelin till we meet the binding, it gives us the same grip and pull on the javelin, but we can wrap our fingers around the javelin and it gives us now that freedom to rotate our shoulder in. And this is going to help us when we come to the delivery. Having the traditional grip also allows me to rotate my hand and my wrist in, and this means I can flick my wrist during the delivery and impart some spin onto the javelin, and this spin is gonna help with our flight and help us to get that tip down landing. So the traditional grip, we have our thumb and forefinger, sliding down the javelin until we meet the binding and we want to make a loose grip around the javelin with the rest of our fingers. Now we should have a small gap in here between our hand and the javelin so that we have a relaxed grip to do that flick at the end of the throw and that relaxed grip also allows me to rotate my hand and rotate my shoulder in the delivery. So when we come back to our standing throw we're going to use our traditional grip have that hand nice and high at the back and long at the back with that athletically straight arm. We're gonna come into our standing throw position with that rear foot slightly forward and the front leg almost straight. And then from here, we're gonna turn our little finger on top of the javelin. That's gonna rotate our armpit upwards and it's gonna lock that javelin in place on our forehead. So we wanna have that javelin just over our eye, sitting on our eyebrow as we come back into our loading the rear leg, we'll see the javelin start to align with the direction of the throw, and we're gonna lift our free arm up to create balance in this position. From here, when we want to deliver, we simply turn our hips to the front, keeping that block in place, and we pull right over our shoulder to release. Now when we want to add speed to our delivery, we're gonna try and have this stretch for our hip, a stretch for our chest, and then a fast and low release on the javelin. Our release angle is closer to 30 to 40 degrees than it is 45 degrees plus. So we're aiming for a low and fast delivery. So from our position here, we've got our hand rotated in to get our javelin in position, to open our chest. We want to turn our hips to the front, and then we lift our chest to create that stretch. And now as we deliver low and hard, we're going to rotate our hand outwards. So we go from that fingers up to fingers down position, and that's gonna add some spin onto our javelin in the delivery.